In this video, I'm going to demonstrate adding new nominal codes, adding new accounts to the chart of accounts. Basically, there will be expenses that you want to record but cannot find the right account to post them to. Or you might want to have a number of sales codes. There's obviously a sales code by default on QuickBooks, but you might have a number of sales that could fall into different categories. You might want to have sales north, sales south, shop sales, online sales. You also will need to add your bank accounts and there's lots of other nominal codes and accounts that you need to add to QuickBooks. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. If I'm confusing you, then it may be that you need to take some time looking into um, a bookkeeping course or understanding the nominal list a bit more or searching it online. Um, I have a bookkeeping course on my website that will go through this. So if you, so let's go to transactions and charts of accounts. If you don't understand nominal accounts, then maybe this video will just be self-explanatory and you'll get a bit of insights from watching it. Okay. So this is all the accounts that we have on QuickBooks by default. You'll see we have expense accounts um, like depreciation, meals and entertainment, insurance, rent, telephone expenses. We also have asset accounts like the stock. We have a debtors account. And there are other accounts on here. We have income accounts, sales, sales discounts, uncategorized income. Uh, and you'll see that on our creditors account, we have 280. That's the 30 pound and the 250 from Sarah's furniture and staples. You'll see that in our furniture and equipment account, there's 250. That's the office desk that I recorded. And there should be other amounts in here. Here's our debtors, 405. So our transactions are booked in this chart of accounts. But like I said, there will be other accounts that aren't on QuickBooks that we want to add. Say our bank account. Our bank account is not on here. So how do we add that? We simply go to the top here and click new. And we can then add the account that we need. So we have a category and this should make things easier for you. We have a debtors category, current assets, cash at bank, tangible assets. You'll see that we have income, cost of sales, expenses, a number of different categories. Let's do cash at bank and in hand. And you'll see that we then have a detail type. So it breaks down the category into subcategories. Let's do current. So our bank current account, and let's call that bank current account. It could be that if your account is with Barclays, you might want to say Barclays current account, especially if you have a number of bank accounts with different banks, it might be easier to actually name um, the bank that the account is held with, um, or you can put that in the description. So we have bank current account, and let, in here, let's put NatWest business account. We then have the option of entering a opening balance. As I've mentioned in previous videos, QuickBooks will be able to do all this for you if you're coming from other accounting software. If you've kept your accounts in Excel or manually somehow, then you'll need to put in the opening balance and the date. Click save and close. You'll then see that our bank current account has been saved. And here it is, bank current account. It's cash at bank and the balance is currently zero. Let's add some others. So let's click new. Say there's some expense codes that currently 
are not on QuickBooks. Let's do advertising and let's put, say, Google AdWords. Perhaps we want a expense account to record the amount we're spending with Google and description. We can just put online advertising or, or whatever you want in there. Let's click save and let's add one more. Let's do a sales account. So income sales of product and let's put product A. You might want to record sales per product click save and close and there we go that's been added and that's how simple it is to add these accounts to the charts of accounts once again the best way you're going to learn is to watch a brief video like this one and then do it yourself look into it you can also view the account history so if we look at our debtors and click on account history we'll be able to see what is booked to that nominal account so you'll see here we have 120 booked on the 31st the 7th invoice 101 that's the customer invoice then 400 clear view training then we have that credit note and then another credit note and that gives us our current balance on the account let's look at another one so transactions chart of accounts let's look at furniture and equipment account history once again 28 for the seventh Sarah's furniture 250 pounds so hopefully that's all pretty straightforward Please click on the links to watch the next video.